Hey, before I get too deep into explaining anything I'm doing here, I just want to mention that I am not a electrician. Um, I'm not licensed and bonded. I really shouldn't even be doing this. I, I am an engineer and I do understand basically for at a high level what's going on. This is a pretty simple job, but if you uh, try to do this and you destroy your saw or burn your house down, don't blame me. All right, what I'm doing today is basically I got this paramedic saw that's got a bunch of junk on it. But I made a previous video and I installed a T20 outlet. You can see right there. It basically goes all the way back to. Wow, that's out of focus. Um, a little box right there. And I got a hole in the wall still, but I'll fix it. So, anyway, uh, this thing came wired 115, but it probably runs better on 220. So. Um, it's a 20 amp circuit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this plug Usually what you do is you uh, You'll sit up you'll put a bigger like a thicker gauge cable like that one down there uh, But I looked at the paramedic thing and basically this cable is uh, capable of carrying the amperage for 110 and 220 it's the same amount of power you're pulling through it, so it should be fine. Um, I saw a lot of people um, online basically saying that you should upgrade to some monster cable like that guy down there. But um, I actually looked up in the saw, and let me show you what happens is it goes in down here, and it kind of goes underneath the saw, and then it comes out somewhere, and it, it's kind of hard to see, but it goes into this switch and then there's some internal wiring in here and then it goes from the switch back to this little box right here okay and so there's some stuff I got to do inside of there change some wiring around but I guess the bottom line is in order for me to put a fatter cable in there I'd have to do like a lot of modifications to the saw because that hole that they got right there. First of all, I'd have to break that little plastic thing off and then I don't know what I would do, but, and then there's like three other, those little plastic grommets. Look at that guy right there. They're right there. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm just gonna keep the cable I had. I really bought this cable for the, intending on uh, using it for this, but what I'm gonna do is, uh, like I said, I'm gonna, cut this end off here put this guy on here you can see it's a little bit different that way it'll plug in to that kind of outlet i'm not gonna plug it in but um and then i'm gonna run an extension cord i'm, I'm basically gonna take this big thing here and plug it in there and then i think i'm gonna route it down and then back up and then i'm gonna use these brackets to hold it on to the bottom of this table so that it's tucked up out of the way because i have this uh, got this rolling cabinet that I table saw cabinet I made a little while ago. I made a video about it. Basically, it holds my little cross cut slit and some other stuff. So uh, that way I can slide it in and out without worrying about that cable getting falling down or ripping out or whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna start that. I'll videotape some of it. I guess to get started, what I could do is. This cable. I'm gonna cut this off real quick with that knife right here, and then I'm gonna, like I said, I'll wire that yeah, guy onto it. And then I bought another one. I bought a female. I don't have it in front of me, but I'm gonna basically put it on the end of a little bit of that. So that end's gonna go into that plug-in, and then I'm gonna. On the other end, I'll put a uh, a female outlet so that you can plug the cable coming out of the saw into the... It'll basically become an extension cord at that point. So anyway, I'm going to get that going. I'll take some uh, other videos in between just to show you what I did. All right, thanks, bud. All right, 
basically what I did was I just chopped up the end of there and then I took these um, insulated wires I got the black the white and the green it look, looks like it chopped into that green one a little bit but it's the neutral so it's probably fine um, it's, it'll be encasing this uh, sealed housing anyway so um, the other two look alright so basically the white one goes in the vertical and then the black one goes in the horizontal and then the neutral goes into the uh, to the ground location anyway I'm gonna do some other stuff and I'll get back to you alright so I made the ex extension cord basically you can see this here it's, um, they sell these stupid connectors in Lowe's for $15 I bought them on the internet for $3 three or four bucks um, anyways I got some of this off of spool that they had at Home Depot and so um, I figured out that the wires are a little bit cheaper at Home Depot than Lowe's um, so what I did just to keep this out of the way I kind of got it down here and then I zip tied to this post right here and down there this is extremely ghetto but uh, I just want to make it so I can still pass through this saw. Let me back up a little bit. And um, that outlet without having like an extension cord going over. This thing's big enough really if you, as long as you don't try to drive over it with something sharp, it'll, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I basically, I'm going to put this up under here. I took this into this cable right here and uh like i said i put that other connector on there i'm gonna flip this around so maybe you can see but um let's see if i can so basically i i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not but i put this bracket on here right here and then just to hold it on and then i get another one down here so the sorry the um the connector for the actual saws right here and that is going to plug into this guy, and that's an extension cord to go over the wall. Um, I mean, ideally, what I would have done was uh, create one of these and then plug it in and then just run it all the way back to the motor. But like I said, it, it would have required a lot of modification that I'm not willing to do. Um, the saw was set up for 115 volts, and uh, I think most people that buy it do it so they don't have to do... Um, hook add they don't have to have 220 um, which is fine but if I ever sell it I want to be able to take it back to um, 115 volts in case whoever that is interested in it is if that's the reason why they why they want to buy it so anyway that's the situation uh, I got a little bit more wiring to do down here at the saw before I plug everything in and I'm gonna do that in just a moment so I'll get back to this is kind of hard to see but Basically, this is the cabinet. Um, there's the door to the cabinet. And right underneath the motor, there's a little box. And it's got some wiring inside of here. And you can see there's this little diagram. And basically, what it says on the left, it has the wiring for the 120 volts. And on the right, it's got the 240 volt option. And I'm just gonna look real quick. It looks like you do something with the white wire. Uh, right now the white is connected to the black wire. And so to take it to 220, we need to connect both the white wires. And then the black wire needs to be connected to the yellow. And I don't know, I'll have to look at it. but So you just take those caps off and play musical chairs until you get every everything wired like it's shown here. And then you're ready for you're ready to plug her up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, I'm done wiring. Basically, I got this uh, sensi cord connected. I am going to plug this in, and I'm, hopefully it doesn't pop. Okay, so that's a good sign. The saw is actually plugged in. And now all I have to do, my first test is to see if this green light's on and it looks like it is. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this and hopefully everything works. I 
never said it started up quicker than usual. Um, usually it takes like maybe, I don't know, half a second or a full second to speed spool up. And so it's like almost instantly going as fast as it needs to go. I'm gonna do it again. That's amazing. It runs a little quieter too, which is weird. But, uh, Okay, that's pretty much it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.